Okay, so not convest a total of $26,500 in two accounts. The first account earned a rate of return of 12% after a year. However, the second account suffered a loss of 4% in that same time period. At the end of one year, the total amount of money gained was $1,660. How much was invested into each account? So I like to make a table with these. Um, and interest equals principal times rate times time. And we have two accounts going on. We have a 12% and a 4%. Um, we don't know how much went in each one, but we know, um, let's make another row here for total. We know the total principal of both accounts is 26500 but that helps us figure out what the other two are. If I just let one of them be X, then the other is going to be whatever's left over. So the 26,500 minus X. Um, the rate is easy enough to put in. Um, we're going to get 0.12 here. But it was a 4% loss, so we're going to put negative 0 0.04 here. And we'll put that negative over here too. Um, and then it, it just says one year, so time for both is going to be one. So to get our interest, we're going to multiply the principal times the rate. So we're going to get 0.12x, and uh, it's going to be hard to squeeze this in here, but negative 0 0.04 times 26,500 minus x. Um, And we're also given that the total amount of money gained was 1660 So that's the total interest. How much money you make is your interest. So this column, the, the interest column, is what's going to give us our equation for this problem. So if we add the interest in each account, um, so it'd be 0.12x, plus the negative 0 0.04 times 26,500 minus x, it's going to equal 1,660. All right, the interest from one account plus the interest from the other is going to be 1,660. Um, so we just need to solve. We have distributing to do right here. So what is 0 0.04 times 26,500? It's 1060. So 0.12x minus 1060, because there's a negative there. Um, and then it's going to be plus 0.04x, because the negative times the negative makes it positive. Um, so just be careful because that negative right here gets distributed as well. We can combine like terms on the left and get um, 0.16x. If we add 0.12 to 0.04, minus 1060 is going to give us 1660. We want to add. Um, make this really tiny, <laughs> the 1060 on both sides because we're trying to get x by itself. So we get 0.16x equals, that would be 0 to 7, 2720. And then finally we want to divide both sides by um, 0.16 and that gives us 17,000 even. 
So once you solve the equation, you got to go back and um, figure out what exactly you found. Well, if we look back at our table, we're getting x is 17,000. What is x? x is, let's see if I've got something good to point this out with. I don't think I do. Um, x is right here. I don't know if you can see my laser pointer. But it corresponds to the principal amount that we put in the 12% account. So to find, um, I, I can't even read this, see. We need to find what, how much was invested at 12%. So we already found that, that's 17,000. And how much was invested at 4%. Well, if we want to find that, all we need to do is go um, back to our table. And the principal for the 4% would be 26,500 minus x. So let's do that. Minus 17,000. So the amount that went in this 4% account that lost money um, was 9,500. So those are your, those circled answers are your two answers.